the games are here. Well, we be chilling for now. Let's see what kind of warrior are we up against. Most of them are up to no good. We get the encounter's flow going, so that's something. Puzzle box only costs 9 mana. Haha. -ha. It's a bomb warrior again. They just have so much armor. I have a hard time. With cards in hand. I have a hard time pushing through all of that. Oh dear. I was not expecting Corsair Cash anymore on this turn. So I didn't develop the Netherwind portal. I did consider it earlier. Nine cards in hand. I'll play the portal, go down to eight cards in hand. Then I have enough hand space to play the Font of Power. Do I get any two drops? I get some two drops. I guess I'll just play the Dart Frog out there to avoid burning a card. I could have also done it with the Mysteries, but I might do Mysteries with the Mana Cyclone. Why is the warrior not even equipping the weapon? Oh, the weapon is an anchor, and they don't want to use an anchor. I get it, I get it. I could get a lot of cards from the Cyclone. I'm just not sure if I want to do it. I might just develop the Tricaster. Get rid of that in hand. I don't think it will be very useful. So the weapon has to be an anchor, right? Oh, we got a Bladestorm out very early. That is excellent piece of news. Do we also get a... Really? It's a... It's a control warrior? Seriously? Oh boy. Well, time to start working on that bulwark. There's a lot to go through. cards in hand again. Right. There is a lot to go through with that bulwark. So I guess this will take a while. But this is really a control warrior. That is amazing. I have the amazing Reno here. That's going to be an answer to the power of creation, isn't there? Well, almost certainly there is, but I mean, let's just play it. Reckless Rocketeers. And they only take away a couple of judges of the Bulwark, though. I guess it's the Dirigibles. There's an answer to those two, of course. Is this going to be a Highlander list? If it's a Highlander list, then the answers might be more difficult to come by. Captain Greenskin, randomly generated captain. That is the best kind of captain, technically. I'm still in no hurry. I can blizzard. But I can keep working on that bulwark. It has been rather hilarious, hasn't it? It has indeed, it has indeed. It has been hilarious. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean... Ha 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 Brewmaster. That's awesome. <laughs> Just look at that bulwark go. That's a quality bulwark right there. Ten cards in hand again. And reduce the cost of spells in hand a little. I think it's also trying to freeze that. And freeze that. And ping face a little. And then I believe I'm going to frostbolt face a little. I don't have any secrets left in the deck, by the way. But it's okay, I can still play the Ancient Mysteries here. I can follow that up by playing the Mana Cyclone. Let's get some resources. 
My hand is full again, so I will have to spend the coin. But that's okay. I can throw away the coin now, it's cool. It's all good. And this will hit the warrior in the face a little. Nine cards in hand. Alright. An acceptable state of affairs. We finally managed to break through the Bulwark of Asinath. <laughs> oh. This, this is the true meme. Mm, get a brawl out of the way. That's cool. Do I win? I win the brawl. That's sweet. There could be another shield stone, but there isn't necessary. There are two blade stones, so this is not a Highlander deck. That's good to know. Although some of these decks still put stuff like Dragon Queen into them. I have a bit of hand space issues here. I have to Frostbolt the Warrior. And I'll have to develop the Flame Ward here. Then I can play this Font of Power. Well, well, well. I don't want all my spells to cost 5. My spells are perfectly fine, finely costed as, as they are, right? On the other hand, it wouldn't make many of them that much more expensive. It would make the Font of Power more expensive, I don't want that. What happened now? Nine cards in hand. I can develop the Azure Explorer, it's okay. And I discover... I think I'm discovering Brightwing here. Nine cards in hand. Four additional resources. Just trying to slowly work through this. Ah, that's a spell. Yes, we play a spell when we're offered a spell. That's cool. Down to nine cards in hand, I can play the Brightwing out there. Let's get some more resources. And that would be a 4 mana 8 8. I'm a little bit intrigued by that card. I think we're going in with it. 8 cards in hand. But if I don't get the cheap minion from that, I will end up burning a card, so I think this is fine. I'll just do it like this. Alright. So it is a. It's not even a Highlander list. I've seen two Blade Storms and one Brawl. There's plenty of more removal in the deck, of course. When will the warrior have access to all of that? Your wish is, my is that active? No, it is inactive. Yeah, I figured. They often put these cards in these decks, but they don't have a lot of draw and... Seems like a very difficult card to make good use of. Two youthful brewmasters in the deck. Alright, so Cypress is ready to go again. In the near future, it will actually be playable after a while. Is there another minion that can be played, or does it have to be Cypress? If it's Cypress, is it active? There is a boot. The boot is good. Very well, very well. Nine cards in hand. Do a Pexis Blast over there. A bit of a low roll, that one. Eight cards in hand. Then I'm able to use another Font of Power. See what I can pick up from this one. I don't have any secrets left, unfortunately. I think Water Elemental and Ping here is fine. Nine cards in hand again. Will we simply be able to grind this warrior out? I have a lot of value left. We'll see. Shisan, resubscribe. 25 months. Oh, that's a long time. Thank you, Shisan. I appreciate the support. Not quite enough progress there. I need to make all of these spells cost 5, right? I think so. I'm gonna pair of 5 drops on the board. Let's just turn them into a pair of 5 drops. And I will also get the land draconic. Warrior will soon have the Zephyrus active though. 
So there will be a Zepris that can do things. Could be active already. There's also another Brawl left. Then there will be a Dragon Queen. So far Warrior is a fair bit deeper into Fatigue, but that may change. There is another Shield Slim left as well. And that one Brute. So that gives the warrior another death wing. Okay. I guess I don't mind too much. So rolling fireball would actually kill all of those minions. Warrior does get a lot of armor though. This may end up being pretty close. I could also ping and then play the rolling fireball to give the warrior only one armor instead of three. Then I don't get to do the conjurer's calling, but the deathwing is likely to clear this anyway. Then there's that Zepris coming. I think I want to use the conjurer's calling. Let's kill those or all of those. Go face with these and use the Conjurer's Calling there. Ooh, I happen to get an Alar. Both Blade Storms have been spent, so there's no Blade Storm, even though everything happened to have 3 health. Deathwing attacking this board would actually die. But there's still a Shield Slam left. The main way for me to lose this game would be to draw cards and end up in Fatigue. Both Puzzle Box and Reno can potentially do that. And cause me the fatigue. That's a little bit sad. There's of course one Armorsmith left. There are no more Skippers. There's a Shield Slam, there's an Armorsmith, there's a Sky Raider. There's a Deathwing in hand right there. Okay, so Deathwing does kill these all. Then there's just the Egg from the Alar. Does the warrior have a way to kill off the egg? No, so Alar comes back. Zepris is soon active. I'll need to ration out my threats a little. So that they're not all there at the same time, allowing the warrior to stabilize. Very well, Zepris is active. What is Zepris being used for? Treasure? Loot? What more can I ask for? The Bulwark returns. Put it on your how many? How many of these are there in that deck? That's crazy. That is just crazy, isn't it? That is simply crazy. <laughs> And two youthful brewmasters. I guess there's two ancient brewmasters too. I think I want to freeze them. I'll just destroy the bulwark again this turn now. Alright, another bulwark destroyed. Someone is really, really trying to get Contra Warrior to work. There's that Zepris card. What is the Zepris card that was chosen? Ah, Flame Strike. Well, that still leaves the. That still leaves the egg. Why do you draw? Oh, but. Is there an Elysiana in that deck? I guess there's also an Elysiana in that deck. Oh dear. Does that mean that I would actually have to like do damage? There's going to be an Elysiana. Might be a problem. Another Desert Obelisk. I'm not happy to see that. I have to say I'm not happy to see that one. That is not one of my favorite minions. There has to be an Elysiana in that deck, so the warrior can actually win in fatigue. There's no other answer to draw. There's no other reason to draw except for having that Elysiana. 
So there is Elysiana guaranteed. And that means that my 6 card advantage is actually a 4 card deficit. Another Bulwark. Alright. I don't really have to kill them. I mean, they do die if they hit into the barrier anyway. There's going to be one more Ancient Brewmaster for one more Zepris. And then there's the Elysiana. And that's the deck, right? Then there's a Brawl. I may want to do a Deep Freeze. Start pinging that Bulwark. There has got to be an Elysiana. If there's no Elysiana, then drawing was a giant mistake. There's got to be an Elysiana here. Are you seriously telling me that there is no Elysiana? But then drawing was a gigantic mistake. Surely there is an Elysiana there. Surely. I actually don't want to become the Reno, because then I can't deal with that Bulwark very effectively. This can be killed and then they can be called at Prime. That's fine. I want to get rid of that Bulwark. I don't mind one cog at Prime. Getting rid of the Bulwark is a priority. So that card is the Elysiana. That card is the Elysiana. Alright. So now I'm actually in a position where I would have to end this game. But Zepris becomes inactive now. Interesting whether I can do it or not. So this is the turn to become the Amazing Reno. We make those disappear, and then we start pressuring. And we'll see how good cards the warrior got. So, I mean, there should be a Brawl in hand, right? So I don't want to proc this yet. Brawl and Zepris are the cards that were, and then there's the Elysiana cards. Yeah, that's the Brawl. That's why I didn't want to get the 6-6 six, six out there yet. As long as I win the brawl, I can then, then start pushing. It will take a good while to activate that Zephyrus. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Ah, that was... that was annoying. Obviously didn't want that to happen. If we keep pushing. I think I need to empty my hand a little bit. Doesn't really matter though. This next turn an evocation turn. That alone doesn't kill anything. There needs to be more. I 
and see about the vocation. Any burn spells? Yes, a pyroblast. So much time wasted. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.